Welcome back to Chronically Healthy Life. So in our biohacking segment this week, I thought we can do um, like a recap of what we did right in the beginning when we first started this whole series. So I was talking to my friend the other day and about how to actually get started on eating healthier. And of course, people talk about eating more vegetables, eating vegan or whatever. But most people don't think about the basics, which is what we see here, the salt, the sugar, and the oil. So let's start with the basics. Salt, a lot of times we just use a regular table salt for cooking and that may not be optimal because we know now the table salt, a lot of them contains plastics. So a healthier salt for you is actually one of these things here, which would be, this is a Celtic salt, which is a little saltier than normal salt. Or this is something probably you're more familiar with. This is the Himalayan salt, the pink one. And this is lava salt, high in minerals and very nutritious. And this actually came from a friend. This is called Redmond Sea Salt. It came from Utah and it's actually an purified salt crystal. And thank you for that. I'm sure this is tasty and this is looks pretty. So that's for the salt. What about the sugar, the sweetener? So there's different ways to sweeten it. Of course, white sugar is probably the worst thing you can use other than sugar substitute, even, which is even worse for you. So what we use at home, this is monk fruit sugar. I know it's white, so it's hard to see. So they actually come in both white and brown. Or we have here, um, this is actually um, honey. So they crystallized, which is why it looks like this. All right, sit down, sit down, that's just... Or when I'm using, um, making things that is for fermentation, you actually have to use something that has real sugar content. And so I can use, use, it, use honey or I can use cane sugar, which is what we see here. And there are other alternatives is you can actually use a date just for, as a sweetener, you can blend it into your, your smoothies or even if you're making something sweet, you can just throw that in and cook it together. And that will work too. So, salt, sugar, what about the oil? Of course, we t um, in restaurants, they mostly use um, peanut oil, canola oil, corn oil, vegetable oil, something that's highly inflammatory for you, for you and is not exactly good. So at home, you want to do something healthier. We can, at home, we use, um, this is, Avocado oil, which we buy from Costco. Uh, this is olive oil, which is great for salads, but it has a. It's, you don't use this for um, high temperature cooking. So, olive oil is great for salads. And we have here beef tallow that we bought locally from a, a farm. We have clarified butter, which we are almost out. So. Clarified butter is actually just butter that's been clarified, which is what we have here, just regular stick butter. So all these are actually better alternatives for you. And also coconut oil, I don't have it here with me, but it's actually one of the few that is really healthy for you. And we use all these when we cook and it's actually a lot healthier and anti-inflammatory than the, the other oils that I talked about earlier. So when you, Think about your New Year's resolution. If it some involves some kind of healthy cooking, think about the basics. Think about your salt, the sugar, and the oil, and we go from there. I'll see you next time.